Welcome. In front of me is a OnePlus Nord 4 and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now in a second you will see that the device is locked apart from this little lock right here we should have a screen lock there we go which is a pattern and if I close this also a Google account. Now this process obviously assumes that we don't know any one of those so for this bypass we will need unfortunately one uh, thing that might be a bit harder to come by which is a second phone so i will be using just some kind of oppo phone but you can use almost any kind of android device for this as long as it can run fully phone clone application which is the app that you typically use to move data from like your old device to your new oneplus uh, then that's fine now i'm kind of pointing that out because some like very budget devices we're talking about like hundred dollar range right there uh they are weak enough to the point that the option called draw over other applications is disabled by default in the phone and you cannot turn it on in such circumstances uh the phone will not be able to run the phone clone application and it, you won't be able to grant it permission to this specific option which obviously would mean that the app can't work uh, so those phones would be excluded and there's also some caveat for some phones that just have some kind of wonkiness where they just don't want to run the application for some unknown reason but those are very rare um, like I said for the most part you should be able to be able to run this application without much of a problem so uh, let's get started uh, grabbing our our second phone the not locked one you want to navigate to your Google Play Store and then simply search for the phone clone application and you're looking for the one from OnePlus which is the black and red uh, icon right here and it says OnePlus uh, LTD and here you're gonna just select install once it's installed we want to open it up and because this is our unlocked device we're going to be selecting that this is an old device. Select settings and then check it on. The settings option pops up by default, so you don't need to like do anything apart from just trying to copy data. Then it gives us another pop-up. Uh, going to select while using the app. You're going to be choosing this option almost all the time, as long as it is available to. So while using the app or allow. And from there, as you can see, it opens up our camera, which allows us to scan the QR code. So this phone is right now prepped for the process. I am going to lock it for now and move it outside of the screen. And now let's go to our locked device. Here, you want to progress forward through the setup process till you get to the connect to Wi-Fi page. And then you want to connect to your network. I have already done so. Once you connect to your network, you will then press on the I icon. Now, I do want to kind of point that out. The reason we're connecting to network is because if I were to select the I icon right here under network that I am not connected to, as you can see, it gives me just join network as an option and uh, details like strength and security. And that's it. Now, if I were to press the network uh, information for the network that I'm connected to, as you can see, it gives me much more options like disconnect, forget, share, auto connect and more info right here now what we want to utilize here is the share option so before i press this option i am gonna just kind of block the screen with my hand as this shows qr code for my network along with the password for it so do it like this and yeah, the password is somewhere like right here so yeah, i'm kind of preventing it from being visible but the option that we're looking for is visible at the bottom right here. So quick share. We're going to click on that. Then we're going to say continue. Click on the three dots afterwards and select settings. And here in the blue text, you will find learn more about quick share. You want to click on it and this will open up a article. And next in this article, we can again click on the three dots. This time around, we're going to select share article from here um let me quickly catch up we're gonna choose chrome 
and uh, this actually will close the first time around but you want to select uh, use without an account as you can see nothing happened if you try if you press it again and it will actually disappear that's fine that's kind of how it works nowadays but if you do it the second time so click again three dots share article choose chrome voila it now opens so next in the search bar you want to navigate to hardreset.info slash bypass like so let's navigate hopefully i typed it in correctly and i did so here uh, we're gonna select that continue whatever scroll down and you'll find there we go settings up so simply click on that and this will open up the phone settings application through browser which is pretty nice and next we just want to navigate to home screen and lock screen and then we're gonna select it's okay, so it's going to be the home screen layout and what you will see happens is a glitch that takes us to the home screen we are still in the setup screen i do want to point that out as you can see we still have the lock and we're missing buttons at the bottom so we are still technically in a setup process of this device at least for the whatever the device thinks this is a setup screen so next we're gonna navigate to this tools uh folder just stop this from opening up anything and here you can see in the middle we have the phone clone application the black and red click on it and select that this is a new device and again we're going to choose the same thing allow every time next Migrate data from other Android, and this generates a QR code. So now we're gonna grab, grab our phone, which we already prepared, and all we need to do is just kind of hover over the camera, give it a moment, there we go. It will give you the message that it's connecting. And there we go, it's now connected. It's loading a bunch of data that is on the device. So this might uh, take a moment, and afterwards it's going to select basically everything. So we will want to actually deselect everything, which you can do by clicking, selecting everything and then deselecting everything. And next we want to navigate to applications right here. Uh, make sure you click on the text itself. And from the applications page, you want to just select a single application. A one that has the smallest size will be the best. So let's see what is here. It's megabytes, it's like hundreds of megabytes. Uh, megabytes megabytes let's see i'm looking for something that is in preferably kilobytes it looks like there is no such an application so here i have a up that is 37 megabytes i think this is the smallest one i have actually phone clone 33 um oh, there we go google podcast 8 megabytes uh so that's what i'm going to select the reason I'm uh, selecting the smallest size application is because the bigger the app is, the longer it will take the device to move it over. Uh, this is just the only kind of reason why I'm selecting a small size, as it's time restrained. Anyway, we're going to click on the check mark, and then we're going to select start migrating. And select like password. Apparently I need to type that in. That's new. Okay, so let's do that. Help to you. Q eight five two zero five. What? I think it is case sensitive, which is pretty annoying. So I think this is still actually small. Yep. So it was case sensitive. As you can see, because of the small size of the application, it's already finished on this device. So we can select done and we can just get rid of it. We don't need the phone anymore. And on this one, transfer complete. We can click right over here and it gives us an info that it failed. And that doesn't matter whatsoever. 
Uh, that is the typical result. If it has succeeded for you, that's fine too. Uh, this literally does not matter whatsoever. So we're gonna select resume. Again, it tells you successful zero, failed one. Again, not a problem. Done. And you can now see that we're back in the setup screen. And this time around, we are now past the de-verification portion. Even though the device is still locked, I can now just select some kind of screen lock, which I'll be just skipping and select later. Then I'm gonna select next, next. Choose the navigation method again, just select whatever. And then select get started. And now we have access to our home screen. Now, before you go clicking off, I do want to point out the device is still locked. So there's one last thing that we need to do, which would be to navigate into the settings. Scroll all the way down to system and update. And backup and reset. Reset phone, erase all data, erase all data, and then choose clear. Now, um, I do want to clarify something. We had option to, uh, to access, we could have accessed this option before. Uh, as we did glitch the device into the home screen uh, before, where we just opened up a clone phone. Now, I want to explain why we didn't navigate into the settings instead and just reset it uh, back then. And that is strictly to do with the fact that the device was still in its locked setup process. So the device still knew that it's in a setup stage. So if we were to reset that device, like I'm telling you to do now, back then it would reset it, but it would stay locked. But now that the setup is completed, if you go through the reset of the device, this just kind of checks the setup is complete. You have access to the device. Uh, cool, you should be able to do the setup without any kind of verification needed. So we're gonna remove all the data as well, which includes the protections which obviously that would have been the screen lock along with the Google account that was a protection on the device before. And at the moment now, it still is. But if I, like I said, go through the process, it will get rid of them. It will bring you back to the setup screen, at which point you will be able to set up your device in whatever way you want, as it will be fully unlocked at that point. Now, I'm not gonna go through the reset on the video right now, uh, but if you really want to see me go through a reset, um, then I'll be just recording a separate video, a reset through settings, uh, more simple kind of video, uh, but it will be literally right after this one. So if you're interested, you can check it out. I won't be referring to this video whatsoever as for reasons. Obviously, it's going to be a separate uh, thing. But like I said, for people very interested, you can check that out. Now, anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.